and welcome to another video of Web Genie. In today's video, we are going to create an Angular application from scratch. We are going to build a recipe app from scratch using Angular. By the end of this tutorial, we will be having a fully functional recipe app that allows us to uh, allows users to search for recipes. So let's get started by setting up our Angular project. If you haven't already, uh, make sure you have Node.js and Angular CLI installed in your system. Create a new Angular project using the command ng new recipe app. Now, once this project is created, navigate to the project properties using cd space recipe app. So it might take some time to install all the packages. Let us generate some components and services that we need for the development of our application. So first I am going to create a component recipe list. So the command for doing that is ng gc g space c recipe list. So a component called recipe list will be created. So before that I am going to install bootstrap. So uh, the command for doing that is npm install bootstrap. Now go to angular.json and inside the styles section add the bootstrap so that the bootstrap will be added to our system now we have created two components one is recipe list and another is recipe search for developing our application now let us start implementing them so go to the recipe search component html file and create a division called container with a margin top 4. Now let us create a header recipe search and let us start creating a text box. So for that I am going to create a section in division and I am going to create a uh, text box of the type form control now in, after that I am going to add some buttons for searching the recipes so this is what we have inside our uh, recipe component HTML file now let us uh, create the ts file or the typescript file for this before that let us just uh, run and see if our uh, angular skeletal application is working fine g serve is building in the background let us just uh, start creating implementing our recipe list component html file as well so go to uh, recipe list component HTML and uh, let us create a division with class card and uh, image tag as well as another uh, division for card body and in that we will this is for creating the recipe cards so there will be a title and there will be a text we will use Spoonicular API to fetch the recipe data so go to the api layer spunicular api um, path and once you log in you will be able to cre uh, create an api key now these are the methods which are available in the spunicular api we are going to use this complex search method today so here let us quickly go through this. Uh, if we uh, add the recipe ingredients and if you try to uh, 
run the code you have to uh, obviously fill all the mandatory parameters now you will be able to get a image and the name of that recipe so the same i have tried in my postman as well now let us start creating a service for making the api request Now let us start writing the TypeScript code on our recipe list component class. So for that I am creating an array recipes and creating a constructor for the recipe list component. Before that I am uh, I have added the uh, on init uh, I have imp uh, in inherited from the on init method. Now let us start creating a service. So I am creating a new service, Spooneckler. So for the code for doing that is ng g space s space the service name. So two files will be created. One is a service ts file and a spec file. Now open the service class. implementing the on in it inside my recipe search component as well and i am creating a string uh, to pass our query so i am creating a string uh, empty string query named query and i am also creating a constructor and inside the constructor i am calling my spoonacler service as well as the routing we need to search for our recipes so for that uh, I am creating a method search recipes and the search recipes should be uh, coming from the Spoonacler service. Uh, so since we have not yet implemented the Spoonacler service, I am commenting this for now. In the Spoonacler service. So for that, I am uh, first declaring my API key. The API key is the one which we get uh, when we register on in the uh, Spoonacler API website. And I am creating a recipe subject as well. Now, uh, creating the recipe query as an observable. Go to the Spoonacler service class and inside the constructor I am calling my HTTP client.
Let us create a method called search recipes. This this is the method which we are going to uh, implement in our components as well. So the search is recipes takes query or the string as a parameter. Now let us check uh, what are the things we need. So I am adding a URL. So this is the Spoonacler API URL which we are going to refer. So adding that. So query will be the uh, query string which we are passing as our uh, parameter. I am just uh, passing the query string. Uh, I am not using any other uh, parameters in for, for my complex search endpoint. Now adding the header uh, API key as my header and getting the URL as well as the headers inside my HTTP client. Now let us implement the search recipes, uh, search recipe method in our recipe search component. And now let us in, go to the app routing module and let us start creating some routes. So this is to uh, create routes for recipe search as well as once the recipe is searched the list will be displayed in a different uh, path so for that we are going to create routes so when the application is launching it will be redirected to the search uh, search url and when you click on the uh, search it will be redirected to the recipe search component and there is also a result so when you click on the result it will be redirected to the recipe list component so the recipe list component uh, in that the results with the image of the uh, recipe as well as the name of the recipe will be displayed as card now in my app routing module, I am going to add the router module in my import as well as in my export. if you have if you're watching this tutorial and you fi find it helpful please like and subscribe to my channel for more web development tutorials if you have any questions or need any further assistance please leave a comment below i will link the github uh, link for this inside in my description so please do check this out
recipe list component uh, uh, file. So here I am going to add a header called recipes and there will be multiple recipes uh, for a particular when you give a particular ingredient and there will be multiple recipe lists that will be received from our Spoonicular API. So for that I am going to uh, create a for I'm going to create a new division called row and inside that uh, I'm going to create an ng4 to include the recipe res each recipe from the list of my recipes so this recipes will be received as an array now in the recipe search component let us add the uh, bindings so the I'm going to create an ng model for the query string which we are passing as a input. Now we have to uh, add this ng module inside our uh, app component. So I'm also creating a placeholder to add the search query. Now uh, inside the search button I'm going to create a click event and this will call the search recipes method. Now let us save this and we have to edit our app component uh, HTML file so that the changes we did till now will get reflected. So I am creating a tag called main and adding the router link to my router outlet. And there is a header and I am adding a navigation pan uh, navigation bar here. So that the search as well as the result will be added as a navigation. So I am giving a BG dark navigation and adding the hyperlinks.
bar I am going to add two navigation items with the link search as well as recipes. So we have almost completed the development of our application. Let us uh, run this using ng serve and check if everything is working fine. So before that I am adding HTTP client module inside my app component. Add the recipes uh, dot image as well as the title and the recipe dot summary. These are the things which we are getting as a response. So this will be added inside the recipe card which will be displayed. I am running my application using ng serve and this is running successfully in localhost 4200. Now go to the browser. So a recipe search will be displayed when you click on uh, when you enter the main page. Now uh, the search button is not working. So let us just check what is the error. So there is a spelling uh, typo. The recipe spelling is given wrong. So once we correct this, we will just check if it is working fine. Still it is not working fine. So let us just uh, check. my app uh, module the path which I have given is wrong so now let us verify this again if I click egg uh, it is going to the recipes list class and it might take some time to load all the images from our API let us again verify this So yes, more images are displayed uh, with a title as well as a image. So this is how the Spoonicular API works. We have successfully built a recipe app using Angular. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you find it helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel.